The second one is going to be more on networking issues, uh, monitoring. There are going to be some videos as well. This is going to be a bit different, right? It's about social events and, and how you yes. use them. Um, and I think we, we start, so we can actually later on go all for, for dinner. Um, the data set is the 2012 social event uh, detection data set. And the presenter, Simeon Papadoulos. Papadopoulos. E, Papadopoulos, sorry about that. Close. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, as before, uh, we are going to take around 10 minutes or so per presentation. And, and once again, if there are not many questions, then don't take it personal. It's just that everyone is so tired already. Yep. Um, and just in case there were some presenters that before they were not in here, uh, Mike is back in there. And he's going to, I mean, he's going to host the data sets. So just if you have a data set, so just contact him. OK. Please. So this is the social event detection data set, which uh, unsurprisingly was also part of Media Eval 2012. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it was uh, done in collaboration also. Uh, it was uh, part of collaborative work between our group, multimedia group in CERT uh, uh, ITI Greece and uh, Eurecom, uh, represented by Rafael Tronsi. So in one slide, uh, the data set is a large collection of uh, uh, Creative Commons uh, licensed uh, Flickr photos uh, and part of their uh, metadata. Uh, the data set is about 160,000 images. And it also includes uh, manually created event annotations for 149 uh, target events. Uh, that means events uh, of specific categories and locations of interest. The primary use, as mentioned, was uh, for uh, assessing uh, social event detection uh, uh, approaches. And uh, it was used in the context of Media Evil uh, 2012. Uh, but it can also be used for other uses, for instance, image geotagging, since all uh, images are uh, geotagged. Uh, it can be used uh, as destructor uh, images in uh, content-based uh, image retrieval applications and for seed summarization uh, uh, tests. So to be precise, uh, the data set consists of 167 uh, 332 photos contributed by uh, 4,422 uh, Flickr users. All of them are uh, licensed uh, under CC. And the event annotations uh, are uh, organized in three challenges. So the one is technical events in uh, Germany. The second is uh, soccer events in uh, Hamburg and Madrid. Uh, the th and the third one is uh, the Indignados movement events in Madrid. I will explain later uh, why we chose this. Uh, the data collection process um, was uh, designed uh, to meet some criteria, which I will explain later. So we made use of the Flickr API, the search API, uh, the search method of the API, um, specifying uh, five geographical centers, uh, namely Barcelona, Cologne, uh, Hamburg, Hanover, and Madrid. The time period of the photos is between uh, the beginning of 2009 and uh, end of 2011, so it covers uh, two years. All photos are uh, CC licensed, and uh, in this table you can see the distribution of the different uh, uh, CC licenses. So uh, most of them are non-commercial uh, use, but uh, there are also uh, quite a lot uh, that enable uh, even commercial use. Also, 403 of the photos uh, came from the event uh, media collection, uh, work uh, by Raphael. So the distribution of the photos is uh, as depicted in these tables. Uh, uh, the majority of the photos uh, come from the two Spanish uh, cities. Uh, and uh, around uh, one-fifth of them come from the German, the three German cities. The yearly distribution is uh, quite balanced, uh, about 50,000 in 2009, uh, 53 2010, and 63 in 2011. And uh, we also uh, uh, have an estimate of the language distribution by using an automatic uh, language detection uh, module. 
So based on the titles of the photos, uh, uh, the majority of them are in Spanish, uh, followed by English uh, written uh, photos, and then German ones. But there is also a substantial number, more than half actually, of photos uh, in different languages, Italian, Portuguese, French, and many other languages. Now, why did we collect the data set uh, like this? Uh, first of all, uh, we wanted to have a large number of non-English uh, textual metadata in order to, to have uh, language uh, agnostic uh, methods uh, tested on this uh, data set. We also wanted uh, to ensure the existence of uh, numerous events of the target types. And uh, we also wanted to have distractor uh, images. For instance, in the case of uh, the second challenge, that we want uh, soccer events uh, in uh, Madrid and uh, Hamburg, we also have uh, soccer events in Cologne and Hanover and in Barcelona. So those act as distractors to the target events. In uh, the same for challenge three, we have uh, Indignados movement events both in Barcelona and Madrid, but we want only those in uh, Madrid. We also selected only geotagged photos, which helped us with the annotation. And uh, we selected only CC licensed photos in order to be able to share the data set and the images themselves. Now uh, I will provide some statistics on the data set. So the tags, the most uh, here uh, are the most frequent tags. Uh, uh, in total, there are uh, more than 50,000 unique tags. And uh, the most uh, frequent ones, uh, as you can see, are related to locations. So, for instance, uh, Barcelona, Spain, Madrid, Spania, Catalonia, and so on. And uh, there are also event-specific tags, which can be very helpful to recognize the events. For instance, Indignados, uh, Football, Conference, Expo, and so on. Here is the distribution. Uh, two distributions. The first one is uh, the number of tags per photo. As you can see, there is a, uh, quite a large number of uh, images that have no tags associated with them. This means that we need to rely on different kinds of information to associate them with events. And uh, more than 80% of the images are uh, associated with less than 10 tags. The right-hand uh, side uh, graph uh, shows the distribution of tag frequency. Again, a familiar power law uh, pattern. So the first uh, tags are used uh, massively. So Barcelona is used more than uh, 40,000 times, Spain 20,000. And then the frequency count drops uh, very quickly. And uh, we have uh, 40K. Uh, tags out of the 50, more than 50k tags used less than 10 times, and actually more than half tags are used only once uh, or twice. So effectively, we have a much uh, more compact vocabulary. Here is also a bit the statistics of the users. Uh, as expected, uh, the 30 most active users contribute 30% of the data set. And 60% uh, of the users uh, have contributed uh, less than 10 photos each. Now a bit uh, about the ground truth creation. The most part of the annotations come from a manual uh, annotation with the help of a web-based tool that we created. Uh, there was a two-round annotation to ensure high-quality and accurate uh, annotations. There were five uh, annotators from uh, our uh, group. Three participated in the first round and two in the second. And uh, there, there was uh, an interactive uh, annotation by means of searching, uh, by means of keywords, locations, uh, and so on, and annotating. Uh, as I said before, all images were uh, geolocated, uh, which means that uh, we could have them separated per city, which helped uh, reduce the target uh, uh, events. And each round of annotation terminated as soon as the annotator could not uh, uh, find uh, new event-related photos in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, approximately, we spent about 100 person hours to the annotation. And uh, this was so because uh, the tool uh, facilitated a lot of the, the process. Uh, we also enriched uh, the annotations of challenge one uh, with the event media 
uh, output, so th those are automatically uh, associated uh, events, uh, photos to events, specifically to technical events in Germany. And here are some basic ground truth statistics. Uh, so we have 18 events for challenge one, 79 for challenge two, and uh, 52 for challenge three. Uh, we have uh, numerous photos associated with uh, challenge uh, three and uh, numerous users contributing to them. We can also see uh, how many uh, photos uh, per event we have. We can see that uh, only about uh, 10 events have more than 10, 100 photos associated with them. And uh, about uh, one third of the events is associated with just one or two photos. This means that methods that uh, rely on clustering, for instance, uh, would have a hard time finding those events. Here is uh, another uh, further statistical analysis of the ground truth. We have uh, 106 events that are captured by a single user and only nine events that are captured by more than 10 people. Most of these events are actually the Indignatus movements, which seem to be well covered in Flickr. We also made uh, a plot of the duration of the events. Of course, this is just a rough estimate because uh, the photos of the event uh, do not necessarily capture the whole duration of an event. But even this was uh, uh, helpful because it allowed us to spot some errors in the metadata. Uh, for instance, uh, in the case of a technical event, uh, there was a photo with uh, uh, a deviation in time of, of more than one year. So the, the uh, yes, and it had metadata that pointed to the last one. Uh, that means that methods that rely on time uh, will probably miss uh, such kinds of photos. And we can see that most events, uh, especially soccer events, last for just a few hours. Here, uh, again, for the soccer fans, we see that more, uh, most uh, soccer events uh, are in uh, the in two well-known stadiums, so uh, Santiago Bernabeu and Vicente Calderón in Madrid, and also most Indignados event took place in Puerta del Sol. And here are some uh, examples uh, to show that the, there is a quite uh, some uh, visual variability in the events, uh, so it's, uh, they don't follow a specific pattern. Uh, even the soccer events, uh, one would expect uh, everything to be a football field. Actually, there are many celebrations outside uh, on the streets, so those are hard to detect by typical soccer classifiers. And here in the Gnados events, which usually feed, uh, feed uh, crowds uh, in uh, squares. How do we evaluate methods? Uh, we use uh, the F measure, uh, macro aggregation, uh, precision and recall. Um, since we know all the correct uh, photos associated with the target events, um, these uh, estimates the goodness of the retrieved photos, but not how well they were clustered into events. And for this reason, we also employ the normalized mutual information, the NMI, which compares also the clustering uh, of events to the ground truth clustering and gives a better sense of the uh, performance of the methods. Uh, together with the dataset, we make uh, available an evaluation script uh, in the form of a JAR uh, uh, library. and. Um, uh, one can uh, immediately see the, uh, how well um, their method performs. Uh, also, we make available, not as part of the dataset, but separately, uh, baseline uh, our own, actually, uh, event detection uh, implementation, which one could uh, use uh, as a starting point. The URL of the um, dataset is here. Uh, we have it already uploaded, but we, of course, will mirror it uh, to the Massachusetts uh, uh, University servers. Uh, the presentation is uploaded to SlideShare, and I would like to acknowledge uh, uh, these four uh, EU projects, uh, Social Sensor, Glocal, Link TV, and Chorus Plus, uh, for the funding of uh, uh, the authors taking part in this work. And thank you very much. Thank you very much.